hello everybody in this video I'm going to show you how you can save your code or your file in a best way so this is our SQL server when we create any code or write any code we go new query so when you click the new query you choose your database in this available database place so go there and then if you write anything like any code over here you execute and then you got the data so this is the code we write our edit page we write the code so now when you going to save how you going to save you go to the file save as right here save as and then you can choose any place you want it to save if you go to the desktop you can choose right here you can create a folder and then you can uh, create a folder and you can choose inside here also no you can write SQL or you can save inside and you can give any name if you want you say you have to give the different name alright so you can you can choose this you can save over here so you can just give any name and you can save here alright so now it is saved in the somewhere in the desktop right now so now you have to look for it where it is and then sometime you're going to forget also that what did you save that file isn't it some sometime you're going to look for it and then you can also save it to the file save as and then you can save it in the uh, documents under the documents you can save it over here you know so there are many different places you can save your file after you write all the code and you can save it but what is the best way to save because sometime from my experience I have seen like I saved it some desktop or documents or somewhere so I was start to go and look for it so why what did I save so it is it is sometime is a pain because you know like after one month two months there are so many file on the desktop so then you start to thinking what do you really save that file here is a SQL one so maybe I you can save it over here then you start to look for everywhere that why really you so save your file so another best way to save the file is create a project okay so then it would be more helpful to find and and look for the file it was more easier to do it so how you can create a project you can go to the file new project and then here is the a default path you know under the document there is a SQL Server management studio if you save this under that default location then you never going to lose this project and under that project you can create all the files so that you don't have to worry about why did you save that file or this file you know like not like that so let me show you if you just give the any name here also SQL file just I'm give the name one just any name SQL file so this is going to save under the SQL server management studio okay or you can browse and give also different name but I I wanted to keep it the same location all the time so that I know it is in that uh, my default position so if you say okay so now you can see on the right hand solution Explorer you can see it create a SQL file so under that you can see connection query and miscellaneous so if you open here right click and you can new create a new query over here so once you new query over here and then whatever you're going to write and then you rename here okay over here you can rename it just class so you can just give any name over here so 
after you write the query then you wanted to do something different query different learning or different things you wanted to do it so you just keep doing it new query and then another give that uh, you know relevant name for that code you're going to write so you write also over here so give the rename and then you give the another name so you can continue to do that way so this is the best way I think save your file or code so that way I did also the same way because look at here I have one project I created open then open project so this is our open project you go to the seat the same document SQL Server Management Studio so if I open see over here is SQL file and then I have created over here this one so see open the teaching and then open it so look at here I have so many files so many codes over here so different different name over here under this project the project name I just give the teaching projects okay so here is all the files so by opening this I can find everything on my solution explorer so easy to see everything you have done okay so I think that this is the best way to create a project and then under the project you save all the file so over here look at here over here I have aggregation file CT movie file so different different file you can open it over here alright so I think this is the best way to save your files even even if you have a project and you have a project and then you take this project to the different computer together you can do it as well see look at here over here this is actually I bring it over here from the different computer okay so here is the cursor look if I if I click this one this is not going to open because this one I'm bring it from the different computer so this one looking for the server with this name okay the, the name is over here you can see on the top this is the server name this file is looking for so that's why it says the network related this issue over here is saying so the, so what you can do over here you can just go over here and give the server name I have for this computer this computer server name you can see on the top left side the desktop and uh, u 50 r 67 so you see this is the one if you give this one the server name over here then if you connect so this will be fine right now it is under this server name so next time you open it it's not going to be anymore showing the same thing okay so if you next time close it and try to open it it will find the server name okay it will find the server name no more you have to give this anymore so so if you have a project with a, all these files together code files you can easily bring it from one computer to another computer as well so I think I think my uh, experience told says that that if you create a project and keep it under the projects it would be more organized and also it would be in front of you all the work you have done okay so this is the best way I think you can save your all the codes so thank you thank you for watching I will bring the new videos <music>